Hey everyone. Hey. We have a, a quick video here. Uh, I was going to do it as part of the uh, Football Score Pinnacle 1991 box break, but since it's baseball related, I thought I'd just do a separate little video uh, and put it up for the subscribers. Yeah. Uh, baseball started, so I wanted to give everyone a heads up that the players, pitchers, and catchers have reported to spring training down in Florida, and this is the best time to send your cards away to get autographed. All the players are fresh off of a winter break. They're down there. Spring training is where they kind of get all warmed up and stuff, get in the drills, okay. figure out who's making the team. And uh, they're, they're, they're happy. There's no pressure down there. The games don't count. A lot of the players you know, know they're going. Uh, they have a, a spot on the team. Uh, so this is a great time. If you go online and Google the uh, facility that they're at down there, they'll be down there until uh, the uh, end of March. So plenty of time to get cards out, hopefully get them back. Um, I highly encourage it. Uh, if you do do that and you get some hits, please let us know in the comments or uh, on any of the other videos. I know I have a whole stack that I'm bringing in to work tomorrow to work on during my downtime of Indians, including this year's 2015 top set that I'm going to try to get. A lot of long shots, too. Hoping they're in a good mood that day. Uh, we have the uh, sporting news put out there annual uh, preview issue and if you are old enough like I am Sporting News used to be a weekly newspaper uh, magazine and we'd get it every week and read it top to bottom that's how we got a lot of our news and stats and scores and everything Sports Illustrated was more about the stories behind the people Sporting News was for the hardcore stat fans now they only publish a series of magazines and uh, they pick they uh, pick good things for the uh, the Red Sox uh, they picked the Cubs to win it all for the first time in so many years. Um, I'm not going to give away the predictions or anything, but uh, they, they have the Indians doing some good things too. So that's the one I pick up. I was thinking about trying to do a fantasy baseball league this year. Uh, maybe a 10-team league on a free site for Yahoo. Uh, I don't know if there's any interest out there amongst the viewers. If anyone does it, it'd be purely a casual league. Uh, you know, just for fun. Uh, you actually get your own team and you draft the players, and you, how, depending on how good they do on the f games, you get points for. It's like uh, the bunt. Yeah, Topps Bunt. Uh, Topps Bunt is also going on. Uh, they do it year-round, but uh, during the uh, first week of the season, they roll out the 2015 cards, and they have a lot of great sales. So make sure if you have the Topps Bunt app, we both have accounts. You can uh, leave a comment in the comments if you don't know our names. Um, but make sure you sign in every day. Uh, get your bonus coins now. Don't spend them on last year's cards because the first two or three weeks of the season, uh, you get a lot of good deals. Uh, they have a lot of specials on the new cards. And we can start collecting this year's digital cards uh, for Topps Bunts. I remember I used to play it. And then I got a bunch of other games. And then for some reason, my bunch needs a new needs to sign in so oh. I can't really well I'll, I'll do that for you I'll figure out what your yeah. password is because uh, you got to be doing that every day so when the new cards come out you can get packs yeah. uh, that's a very fun thing if you don't know it's uh, for Apple and Android maybe no Windows phone unfortunately and uh, you get digital cards uh, you get coins every day for checking in if you do I think a week in a row you get a more coin bonus that allows you, you to buy thousand, packs you get a thousand coins a day Yep, and then if you do like six in a row, you get, I think, 6,000. Yeah. Uh, but during the early part of the season, you get, I think, double that. Last year, I was racking it up really good. And you get cards. They have inserts. They have autographed cards and everything. You can trade them. You can make trades with people. Yeah. Have people on your friends list. Like, so um, if you go on to the trades in one of the slots, um, they'll bring up a list of people. And um, you can um, see what they have. Like... So you can look through their selection of cards mm -hmm. and pick out cards that you think looks cool, and then you look in yours to yours to see what you want for it. Yeah. And then he'll either accept or disaccept. Yeah. So there's virtual trading from around the world. Uh, the different pictures, different uh, designs than the base sets. Uh, you could start players uh, every day. You can switch it out as often as you want, um, and they get points depending on how good they do, which get, which gets you rankings, and there's like how many uh, friends list scoreboards, you do uh, team scoreboards. It's really a fun thing. Uh, we never paid a penny into it, uh, but we get a lot of enjoyment out of it. So if you do that, please hit us up on it, get us on your friends list so we can uh, stay in touch that way. 
and did fantasy. I also had a, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a computer game coming out called uh, Out of the Park, 2016 edition is coming out for Mac and PC and Linux. Um, a couple of our friends are going to do that uh, online, and maybe do a league of that. So if you're a really hardcore online uh, gamer, uh, definitely uh, hit us up for that. If you want any more information, if you Google Out of the Park, uh, it'll come right up. I think it's like OOTP.com, maybe. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That's, you know, I think you'd find it dreadfully boring, but I think it's pretty cool. And uh, what else have we got going on here? Lucas got a message from his uh, Little League coach to start doing warm-up drills. We have six feet of snow outside, but uh, he has to do start his drills. We were throwing the uh, racquetball around, yeah. offhand catches, uh, build up your eye-hand coordination. Which is basically um, using your left hand because that's your glove hand. If you're so, right-handed. And if you're left, you use your right. So you and don't use a glove or anything. You just catch it bare hand, and that helps your eye-hand coordination. So when you get a glove on, it really, uh, it really seems like you have a lot of reach on it. But we're doing that. We did what push-ups? Uh, I did jumping jacks. Uh, jogging place. And you did push-ups. You did a uh, light five-pound uh, weight oh, curls yeah. to build up your strength. And uh, what are they called? The thing where you have bungees. No, uh, burpees. 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 Yeah, I you didn't did burpees do those. too. No, you didn't do burpees. No. All right, Lily no, did burpees. Uh, so it's coming. They're gonna start uh, practicing. I gotta sign him up actually tonight online. Uh, great. If if you, anyone out there has kids or if you do play little league, uh, let us know and let us know how you're doing. Uh, it's a great thing. I love going out to watch Lucas play. I try very rarely do I miss a game, uh, even if I'm only there for a little bit due to school or work or whatever. Uh, and then I also got this book for Christmas that I wanted to talk about. It's called uh, The Baseball Codes. And it is by uh, Jason Turbo with Mike Duca. And it's about beanballs, sign stealing, and bench clearing brawls. What's a brawl? A fight. So that's when both teams leave their benches and fight in the middle wow. of the field. Uh, beanballs when you deliberately get hit with a ball. Uh, and it's the ultimate code breaker. Pulls back the curtain and breaks through the game's shroud of secrecy to deliver a grand slam of a book. Uh, I got this from my uh, beautiful wife for Christmas. And it says, it's an eye-opening insider's look at baseball's unwritten rules, explained with examples from the game's most fascinating characters in wildest historic moments. All aspects of baseball, hidden pitch and base running, are affected by the code, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, got great reviews from people like The Post, The uh, Daily News, National... Uh, NPR, Associated Press. But I found one chap, one little story in here that I thought was really funny and kind of related to what we do here on the, the channel about autographs through the mail. <clears throat> and Tommy Lasorda, I don't know if that name sounds familiar to you at all, probably not. Um, he was very famous for, he was a, kind of an overweight manager for the Dodgers for years, maybe over a decade. Wow. And he'd always run out, he'd fight with the, the umpires and kick dirt. He was, wow. a, he was a larger than life character. He did commercials and everything. So in this chapter about retaliation, where you where you do something to somebody because they did something to you, there's this little story, and it's only uh, two paragraphs, so bear with me. <clears throat> Excuse me. In 1942, a starstruck 15-year-old from Norristown, Pennsylvania, had his autograph uh, request turned down by New York Giants outfielder Buster Maynard after a game at Shibe Park. He was crushed, and he didn't forget. The kid was Tommy Lasorda. Seven years later, he found himself a promising picture, uh, pitcher in the single-A South Atlantic League, playing for Brooklyn's minor league affiliate in Greensville, North Car uh, South Carolina. One day, he found himself pitching to a fading former big leaguer who was trying to merely hold his job with the Augusta Yankees, Buster Maynard. Who's that? That's the guy who turned down his autograph request oh. when he was 15. So now he's a pitcher, and he's pitching to this guy. Wow. Lasorda didn't hesitate. His first pitch sailed well inside, knocking him off his feet. The second pitch did the same. When Maynard came up later in the game, the left-hander buzzed him again. After the game, Lasorda found their earlier roles reversed. This time it was Maynard looking for something from Lasorda, an explanation. Why me, he asked. You don't even know me. No, you, shouted Lasorda. When I was a kid in the eighth grade, you played for the New York Giants. I used to save up for a whole year to get enough money to go to one game. 
When I got there, I asked you for your autograph, and you just pushed me aside and kept walking. I wish I had hit you, you busher. Wow. So he actually held a grudge for seven years about not getting an autograph at a game, and then he threw three pitches at him, trying to hit him because he was so, still so mad at that his hero or you know one of the baseball players he looked up to didn't wow. sign his autograph. Wow. This book is so fun. I've laughed out loud so many times reading this. Uh, if you like baseball, it's uh, a new book. I have my Cooperstown collection as a bookmark. Um, it was published re uh, recently here. Let me see here. 2010. Uh, so, but this is timeless. It goes back to all the greats, Tom Seaver, Nolan Ryan, Goose Gossage, Thurman Munson, all, all the characters, Roger Clemens, right up to Pedro Martinez, up to 2009, 2010. Uh, very interesting if you like the game of baseball. Um, so that's it. Just baseball-related news while we wait for the next set to come out. I didn't want to wait too long because if anyone wanted to do the Fantasy League, try to get it set up before too long. I've got, a, I've got the book recommendation, the sporting news recommendation. And uh, <clears throat> that's going to be it for this video. Uh, so you baseball fans can relax. You're not going to have to sit through a football box break. Um, but until next time, thank you very much for watching. Leave comments below if you want to do any of those leagues or uh, the Bunt, the Yahoo Fantasy League, the uh, O out of the park baseball game. Uh, we'll also be getting RBI baseball for the Xbox One uh, and uh, MLB 16 for the Vita as well. Uh, if you're on any of those networks, feel free to uh, hit us up as well. And until uh, next time, or until you click the next video, uh, my name is Matt. And I'm Lucas. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.